Over the last year, AI have already changed the way professional designers do their work. No, it has not taken our job away, but rather it gave us the ability to do stuff that wasn't possible before. We can do much more impressive work, much faster, and therefore make more money. In this video, I'm going to share with you five tools that have completely changed the way I do web design. Some of these I'm pretty sure you haven't heard of. So if you're not using these tools today, you're missing out. Let's go. The first tool is Reloom. Reloom has a super powerful AI site builder. The way that it works is you write a prompt explaining what site you're trying to build. Then Reloom is going to build a sitemap for you. That basically means what pages you should have on your website and what section you should have on each page. Then once you're happy with the structure of the website, Reloom is going to turn that into a full fledged wireframe. That means it's basically going to write all the copy for your website and give you different components for each of the section, hero section, product section, about section, all of these components you can play around with and edit them. And when you're happy with the design, you can take your full wireframes and either take them right to Figma to start designing them, or you can take them right into Webflow and you have a fully developed website. This is a super, super powerful tool and it helps you not only building your wireframe, but also writing the copy. This tool has completely revolutionized the way that I work, the way that I can share my planning for the website with my clients in terms of the sitemap, but also the wireframes comment, review and iterate and make the whole wireframing process so much faster. This is a must have tool for designers. The second tool is called Slater. Slater is basically an AI writing code companion. So look, I don't really know how to write code, but sometimes when I'm building complex websites with Webflow, some custom code is needed. So the way Slater works is that it connects to your Webflow project and then you basically tell it what code you need to write and it would write the code for you. Now, if you're trying to work with an existing code or a library, you can bring some code in it and you can ask Slater to explain to you what this code does or debug it and explains why this code is not working. So basically, this is your writing component. It's like you have a full developer working with you and writing code for you. For somebody like me, who is not really strong in writing code, this can give me superpowers when I'm trying to create complex interactions, animation and functionality that is not right out of the box in any website builder. The third tool you've probably heard about is Midjourney. Midjourney is still the best AI tool out there for creating beautiful, amazing images. Now that basically, if you're a web designer, replaces all of your needs for stock photography and most of the time even for custom photography, for things that I would need to hire a photographer and build a complete set and bring models. Now I can have amazing professional quality photos generated for me in seconds in mid journey. And this from again, from photos of people to photos of products and complete product shots. This is a huge time saver and also increases the, the quality of the website because at the end of the day, the quality of the photo that you have is the end result of your design. And Midjourney is just trained on such beautiful images that it just creates amazing visuals and it makes your websites and designs look so much better. If you wanna see how I use these tools on an actual project, make sure you check our free web design course below. Let's continue. The next tool is ChatGPT, which you've probably heard about, but in the pro version of ChatGPT, it has a very powerful thing which is ChatGPT, which is the chat where you can just talk to the AI, is combined with DALI, which is the image maker. Now, this enables you to create images just like Midjourney. However, unlike Midjourney, because this is a chat interface, you can give DALI feedback on the image. So if you're not happy with the image, instead of just trying to write prompts, you can just tell DALI how to fix it move the person to the right, make this look a little bit different. And the way that you refine and fine tune the images is much more powerful. Now, DALI doesn't create as beautiful images as Midjourney, but sometimes it's much better at understanding exactly what you need. So if you need some something written, or if you need something in the background that Midjourney will not always understand exactly what you want, a lot of times, ChatGPT in, together with DALI will get you much, much better results. That being said, sometimes the quality of the images, because it's not as good as Midjourney, will give you faces that don't look super realistic. And that's where 
the next tool comes into play. The next tool is called Magnific, and this is an amazing AI upscaler. What that means is that you can take an image that has either crappy resolution or just bad details because it was generated by ChatGPT or even Midjourney, and it can increase the resolution by a lot. I'm talking about two times, four times, 16 times increasing the resolution to create huge images, which then you can print if you want on, you know, posters and billboards. But not only that, because it uses AI to reimagine some of the details, it can take images that has crappy details from Dali and turn them into photorealistic, beautiful images full with details. That enables me to create such high quality imagery for my website. This tool is just so good. You have to give this a try. All right, so these are five tools that I'm using every day when I'm designing websites these days and have completely changed the way that I work. Again, if you want to see how I use them on actual project, make sure you check out our full web design course below. And I will see you on the next video.